Hi guys, shout out to Anchor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans, Snapchat, TikTok, Musical.ly, Twitch, and all other social media platforms, everyone in their respectable places. Thank you for joining my cast and videos and teams. So guys, I know you guys have an opinion, feedback advice i know the critics would like love to critique you know the way i talk and my opinions on things and all those wonderful things that don't cost anybody anything um yeah dr dre's daughter did it say her name yeah oh latania latania her name latania oh my gosh and my name is tan her name is latania how could i forget that Latanya, yeah, yeah, but my name is Latangela. Some guy at a Fairfield in um, Orlando, the one right up the road from Disney, right, told me that that's a Zimbabwean, that my name is from Zimbabwe or Tanzania. Somewhere he told me my name was from, so oh, you got a beautiful name. He was a black guy. And he told me what's wrong. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool because my mom died when I was seven and I, um, yeah, didn't get the, don't remember where she got my name from. But yeah, big shout out to my mom for being all creative and everything because most of us just name our kids simple things and name them after people. Yeah. That with no meaning. So yeah, I'm different. So yeah, thank you guys for watching my, you know, cast and video right so what do you guys think about Latanya? i think she's 38 and um she has four kids this is eerie the more i dig into the her story the eerie it gets so familiar even the part about her sleeping in her car working for doordash i guess well they say she's been i was gonna say she, rude people interrupting calling me while i'm trying to do my videos so yeah i guess she's you know surviving it and kicking it for her kids i'm telling you man kids give you like a whole nother boost of energy and mental toughness to get through things in times like this that you don't even think you can make it through but yeah, so but they say she has been reaching out to her dad, Dr. Dre, which of course he probably if he's I don't know when he's born, but if he's a cancer, he probably just went in this shit and just closed out to the whole world after this lady that he was married to, his wife or whatever, came after his pockets and then I think they had he had a break in and all of that and he probably was like I don't know who to trust, can't trust nobody and na da da. I would feel that way. I would like go way deep hermit mode and just not associate or speak with anybody. But yeah, but her kids, I guess they, her and her kids really need help because they say even though she's working two jobs, she's working at Uber Eats or DoorDash. This is like DoorDash and the ad said it too. It said DoorDash and a warehouse to support her kids. Maybe she needs to move from California, but if California is all she know, because I moved from Florida to cheaper rent well it's not really cheaper but yeah i guess i was able to come right to georgia from florida and just get an apartment you know a house or whatever right away maybe she needs to move you know even if if it's temporary to move somewhere that she can afford because if she can't afford living in california even off two income she's working two jobs and it's still tight like that. That's that's got to be rough. I can't I can't imagine. It's got to be rough, rough. But big ups to her for trying to do it, not giving up. Like you know, doing going through the the, the test, going still going to work every day. I mean, just to have that will, that mindset to to do that. Now, imagine if she would have put that on something, you know, paying more, constructive, or or. Because I know people look at white people, you know, like even um, I think Jeff Bezos even admitted it, that his grandparents had a lot to do with his success. I think his grandma, 
married was married to a Cuban or something, if I remember correctly. So they have some um, Cuban descent um, with his grandparents or whatever, and they lent, lent him. I think overall, like two hundred thousand. Like he he had that support, that family, just like in in Donald Trump. Also, you they grandparents leave them da da da. Black people, man, you ain't you ain't finna get but about twenty dollars up at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like where is the love? You know? And so I think that's something that we should backtrack and do different with our children. Like support those that we sorry to support what who we have here versus going out and just continuing to do things that are destructive to ourselves and the future generations as far as wealth and health is concerned because i'm quite sure she's stretching herself real thin and taking the attention is probably taken away from herself because i'm telling you you can't pay attention to yourself and your own health if you just constantly trying to grind 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 get it get it you know what i'm saying for your children or whatever it takes a lot away right so that that's the main reason why i about not to have no more even though i have five children my life. okay this is my cutoff i have to focus on wealth i have to get it together even though i haven't been taught this i have to teach it to myself you know just focus on the five children that i have here on earth thank god for them and teach them and myself how to build wealth how to build a constructive productive life henceforth you know um i think that's so important i think that's what other races and my son was even telling me about jewish his jewish friends like they learn that even as babies how the jewish dad his friend's dad in weston when he was down there how they're so big on wealth they're, they they was learning about the um, stock market and everything, you know, so young. And it was just like business, business, business the whole while he was there. And even he was like, oh, oh, really? That's how it goes? Like, it was even an awakening for him, like, to pay attention, like, oh, this must be important wealth. Because in our household, especially when he was younger, it wasn't. It, it wasn't taught that it was just like get a job pay the bills boom it doesn't matter the debt that you have is just whatever you get whatever you can do and it never gets paid you just just if you can't pay that bill and they turn it off just put it in somebody else's name just put that cable bill in your in somebody else's name instead of you know paying that bill and doing whatever it takes to have a surplus of income it was like acceptable if you live in paycheck to paycheck. Because even when I was at a, as a correction officer, I was like, and I had one kid at the time. And I was, you know, out of high school. I was like, man, is this how it goes? This is not enough. I think I was bringing like home a thousand, maybe uh, every two weeks if I made the 40 hours. And it was so treacherous because I did have a kid. And um, with babysitters and everything, that's why I say if she got to work two jobs with four children um, I, hopefully she has older children that can watch the other ones which some people will even argue with that it's not their responsibility it's not their responsibility that's why i say just cut just don't have any more kids and because the dad's not there to help you take care of them it's a point where we have to learn because with my first one i'll admit i even went to get an abortion but my aunt you know she pretended like she when i came home from college i was at clark atlanta she pretended like oh yeah come home you it, it, the appointment everything is set up and then and then when i and and the ladies that were in the area atlanta area where i were they were gonna help me too they you know i could have done it when i was up there but you know i was young and scared so i said okay i'm gonna do it when i go home now a lot of time hadn't passed maybe a week or two and then when I got home, my aunt was like, because my mom passed when I was seven, my aunt was like, oh, it's too late to have a kid. It's too late to have an abortion. It's too late. Babies are blessings. Babies are blessings. Yeah, they're a blessing, but you need to be a blessing to your baby and be able to take care of your baby. Like, don't be just, oh, it was awful. And then I found a flight attendant school, Southeastern Academy or in Kissimmee, and my dad was like, well, what are you doing that for? You In your condition, because I was pregnant, in your condition, 
you need to just sit down somewhere. You need to just sit down somewhere in your condition. And I'm like, man, what the bleep, bleep, bleep. And I just left anyways. I just jumped on a Greyhound or something. I don't even remember just left and tried to do something on my own and i guess that's what latin is trying to do but we have to have a plan we have to teach our children different so that they won't go through such harshness life isn't supposed to be this harsh this hard sad this depression stuff life should be enjoyable and it can be if we plan it to be that plan ahead 